Welcome back. Uh, uh, to all my friends out there in the business world, you know I try to let people learn a little something on the show as best I can. Um, and I've talked about this many, many times before, the importance of mentorship. I have had, luckily, some tremendous mentors in life. From my father, of course, the, most, uh, the biggest mentor I ever had, my Uncle Denny, Patrick Byrne, Vincent Viola, some of the biggest men in business, Harvey Pitt, people that I've looked up to um, and have imparted different wisdoms on me that have helped make me the man I am. And I try to mentor younger people and pass on some of those things, which is probably one of the most fruitful things that I do because when you see people taking your mentorship and executing on it, it's actually fulfilling for everyone, okay? Now, if I were a draft pick in any sports game, I would be a free agent. I don't even get drafted in things when it comes to athletic. But this guy um, went from an eighth round draft pick to all pro Super Bowl champion, um, mainly attributed to his hard work and some great mentorship. Every Wednesday, Joe Hagan joins us. He's the CEO of Wealth Colony. Today brings us a very special guest, uh, NFL stud, um, Super Bowl champion, all pro. Brad Benson joins us as well today for a liquid lunch. Guys, thank you very much. Hi, Joey. So, um, guys, thank you very much. So, I always talk about mentorship. I know Joe trains a lot of people in mentorism. Brad, it's hard enough task to get from an eighth round pick to the Super Bowl. That's, that's a long shot in a lot of cases. Um, what happened along the way with you from a mentorship standpoint that brought the best out of you? Well, what, 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 was the, the, what happened to help me the most was having the right mentor <clears throat> and having good mentors. Um, when I was with the Patriots, I, I didn't have any anybody that really took any interest in me to mentor, to mentor me. And for the first year or two at the Giants, John, I'll say uh, that was back during the Philadelphia fumble, if you recall those days. <laughs> the butt. <laughs> my first year. Okay. So having said that, when Parcells came in, when they brought him on board, that's when I had my real mentor. And this guy was phenomenal about the way he could relate to people. Phenomenal. I mean, he pulled me into a room and he said, listen, the other people here, they really don't think that you can make food. They really don't like you. Uh, but I like you. And he really had a, a, a way of forcing an endearment upon you that you were going to play for him. But he was magnificent, magnificent. So, um, Joey, I know Brad took it from, you know, Penn State to the Patriots to the Giants, went to the Super Bowl, Pro Bowl, all the heights, um, and then took those same winning lessons, taking, you know, really a failing car dealership to one of the biggest ones in the country, especially in the Northeast. Uh, what are you and Brad doing to keep that mentorship going and help other, you know, business and entrepreneurs further their business. Yeah, so I think Brad doesn't realize the genius that he has. The little micro distinctions of sticking in the NFL and being in a position where he can carry Bill Parcells off the field on his shoulders, right? Everyone remembers him from the Band-Aid because his nose was always bloody. And, you know, there's certain, you know, uh, disciplines that he gave himself to fight through that and a lot of other stuff. And he took that along with his mentorship, into the auto dealer world. And John, it was the number one in the world. They went from like less than 40 cars a month to over 700. And he tapped into his own greatness and humor. Like, there was one ad, I don't know if you remember, it said, you know, come down to Brent Benson Hyundai and see my 40-foot erection. And everyone's like, what? And was <laughs> yep. And that was, that was the goalpost <coughs> in the Giant Stadium that he put up in his dealership. And... When you listen to NFL films and you listen to the greatest coaches of all times, like Bill Parcells said, you know what? I never had to worry about Benson. He just gets the job done. And the way he gets the job done, he can help others do the same thing, not just sports and life, but in business. And he's done it. You know, you get a guy like Belichick. Maybe he's the greatest of all time. He says, you know, if there's anyone who's ever gotten the most out of their potential that he's ever coached, it's Benson. So it's, it's more than just drive. 
there's a lot of wisdom up there. And sometimes he just comes out with nuggets and starts coaching people, you know, and it's amazing. And he'll give them an innovation. A lot of times innovation comes from a different industry. Someone who's proven it in a different way and gives you something like a lightning bolt in your ass from a different industry that says, wow, I'm going to wake up um, and really smell the coffee. And, and I appreciate that, Brad. And so what we have is a, a mentorship program uh, where Brad, I'll let Brad explain it a little bit, but he's trying. we're trying to reach two people right a day for a month and that's 60 and what Brad wants to do is help people in business not only accelerate their business but you know and and really back up because Brad will tell you right and I'll let you find a you know with him that just when you're crushing it in business like Brad was number one in the world uh, you know people are coming in his lines literally uh, breaking records and then life happens he got lung cancer right and then he has a suboptimal exit from his dealership, and that affects his retirement. So in the world of Wealth Colony, you've heard us use the word, John, ecosystem mergers. Yes. Right? Yes. Brad knows, and he can tell you that if he had Wealth Colony's world back then, we would have so many people around him that not only would he accelerate further even after he exited, but he wouldn't have to worry everyone would have his back. Got so it. he wants to share that with as many people as possible. So... What we, what we want people to do is book an appointment with Brad and myself at calendly.com slash wealth colony slash Brad Benson. And we can have a 15 minute alignment call to see if, you know what, how we can add value to you and how you can add value to us and see if we can't work together. Tremendous. Hey, Brad, listen, uh, a lot of our audience members are sending me in comments. Um, and our final minute here, just a little football talk because you're a legend. Um, who do you think, everybody throws around this term, goat, 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 um, of your time in the NFL, everyone you've been around, who is the goat in, in coaching? Oh, boy. Well, on paper, it's got to be Belichick. Um, and I love Bill Belichick. I, I think he's wonderful. But, you know, who taught Bill Belichick? I mean, my, my go to always be Bill Parcells, so I'm, I'm prejudiced. I probably can't give you a real, really good answer on this. But it lies somewhere between the two of those guys. Um, I totally get you, but you know what? As a mentor, you almost want to see the people that you've mentored achieve heights greater than you because you feel like you accomplished something. So maybe Belichick is you know, a product of a lot of mentoring from Parcells also, like you. Well, there's no doubt about I'm it. No, John, no, no, no. Yep. Yes. John, I'll tell you one where he was on, we were on with a, you know, coaching, talking to another businessman, and kind of the question came up about the greatest defense of all time. And Brad, hands down, talks about having to, you know, face Richard Seymour from, or not Seymour, Richard Dent from the Chicago Bears, the 85 Bears. And while this guy's looking to make a move on, and Michael Singletary is breathing down his neck and he sees the blitz coming. And when Brad tells those stories, right? Brad, would you say the 85 Bears are the best defense? Best defense I ever played ever. I think our uh, – that I ever played against. I think the 86 Giants uh, defense was better. They, 